Welcome everybody back to the music channel. I am so excited today to be looking at the third installment of the Bass Gang's Disney album featuring Peter Barber as Gaston. I'm so excited to see what they're going to do with this song. I have a long extensive history with Beauty and the Beast. I performed in my senior year in high school and I got to climb on top of somebody's shoulders during the Gaston scene and it was a hoot. If I can find a picture maybe I'll attach it somewhere in the video. But anyway, I am so excited to see what they're going to do with this song. I feel like there's a lot of ways this could go, but I'm expecting something incredibly theatrical and fun, so let's get into it. Alright, we're live. Let's hit it. does she think she is? That girl has tangled with the wrong man. No one says no to Gaston. Darn right. Dismissed. Rejected. Publicly humiliated. Why, it's more than I can bear. More beer? What for? Nothing helps. I'm disgraced. Gaston, you've got to pull yourself together. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston, looking so down in the dumps. Every guy here'd love to be you, Gaston, even when taking your lumps. There's no man in town as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite guy. Everyone's awed and inspired by you. And it's not very hard to see why. Okay, right off the bat, Bobby as LeFou is hysterical. I didn't know I needed that in my life. And also the lamp. I am very interested to see what this recurring story is because somebody picked up the lamp in Arabian Nights. We didn't see who. And then Bobby was Bobby had it in Be Prepared, and I think they were fighting over it in Be Prepared. So Bobby still has it. I think it's a funny idea that Bobby is like a transcendent genie who's kind of like hopping between all the universes of the movies. I don't know. That's... Probably not at all what it is, but it's fun to think about. Anyway, no vocal percussion at all so far. It's all voices, and I think that's kind of interesting. I don't know if we're going to get anything like that at all. But, yeah, so we're taking the original orchestration of the song and just singing it. And that's kind of interesting because some of it's ooh, some of it's ahs, and some of it is the lyrics that Bobby is speaking for the Wafu part, but sung as the background orchestra part. So let's go on through and listen to the intro to the song again. Who does she think she is? That girl has tangled with the wrong man. No one says no to Gaston. Darn right. Dismissed. Rejected. Publicly humiliated. That's, I mean, you can hear the autotune on that note in there. Rejected, publicly humiliated. Why, it's more than I can bear. More beer? What for? Nothing helps. I'm disgraced. Gaston, you've got to pull yourself together. Yeah, so this is so cool. What we just have is the... It, it's, it sounds very much like the original orchestration, just minus the percussion, and it, we are just kind of singing it through. So it's all the same like chord stuff, the, the same chord progression and stuff as the original song. Also, the voice acting from both Peter and Bobby in this part is incredible. Peter is very good in the role of Gaston already. And Bobby, I wouldn't have expected that to be Bobby if I just heard it without seeing him. Like, I'm, I'm kind of surprised by his vocal acting ability here. I'm disgraced. Gaston, you've got to pull yourself together. Gosh, it disturbs me to see you, Gaston, looking so down in the dumps. Every guy here'd love to be you, Gaston, even when taking your lumps. There's So, <laughs> Bobby's face here. That's beautiful. Wait, let me screenshot that. Pardon me. No man in Oh, I lost it. Anyway, uh, Marwan echoed the so down in the dumps that he echoed that line in there. And I think that's just like thrown in there just so, as a little bit of like spice because we just have the ooze in the background. So that's just there to make it a little bit more interesting and to fill out the empty space in between Bobby's speaking parts. Lumps. There's no man in town as admired as you. You're everyone's favorite guy. Everyone's all. And on favorite guy, they build kind of like a. 
They build a very interesting C major chord with with kind of a layering that's going on there. It's weirdly like pretty, but it's ve it's very unique for the, it's very cool. Everyone's favorite guy. Everyone's odd and inspired by you. <laughs> and it's not very hard to see why. No. Bobby is slaying me. No one's slick as Gaston. No one's quick as Gaston. What the heck is this? <laughs> Is this so okay? Is this somebody holding a painting, or is it like supposed to be like Marwan grafted in? Interesting. Oh, one slick as Gaston, no one's quick as Gaston, no one's next as incredibly thick as Gaston. For there's no. I'm just gonna. I I just love Bobby's facial expression. As Gaston, no one's next as incredibly thick as Gaston. For there's no man in town half as manly. Perfect up here. Oh. Somebody chested an A1 in there. Also, I like Marwan on the wall. That is not cursed to look at. If it's somebody holding up the the frame, that's fine. But, like, if that's supposed to be how they're including Mar, I don't know. Maybe because Beauty and the Beast is, like, the magic castle and stuff. But you, you, you never know. It's manly. Perfect up your paragon. You can ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley, and they'll tell you whose team they prefer to be on. No one's big like Gaston. Like Gaston, no one's got a slow cliff in his chin like Gaston. There's a sp I like how, again, we don't have any vocal percussion. At least not yet, and if we don't at this point, I don't know if we're going to at all in the song. And I like how how unique this makes this as an arrangement. Like I didn't expect it I didn't expect Gaston to have no percussion at all. But it feels very much like an authentic like bar song that you would have now because I mean like if people start singing spontaneously in a bar and nobody brings a drum, actually I don't know. But anyway, I really like this arrangement so far and I think we're doing a really good job of incorporating these shout sections from the chorus from the, I guess, the people that they hired to be part of the video and to just do like the shouting sections. I think we're doing a good job incorporating them and that um, um, that kind of a uh, walking bass line that's kind of like almost waltzy. We're doing, th we're doing both of those two things and we also have the, of course, the sung melody and a couple, and like very modest background vocals. There's not a whole lot going on to this arrangement, but it sounds very full because because it sounds like how you how you would expect a bar song to sound. So I think this is honestly like so far this is a really good arrangement on Peter's part. It's very creative and unique. Ask any Tom, Dick, or Stanley, and they'll tell you whose team they prefer to be on. No one's big like Gaston. Like Gaston, no one's got a slow cliff in his chin. But that that section is a good example. We have the bum, 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 and Tommy's doing the spoke cleft in his chin, and so are some of the <laughs> every frame that I pause on with Bobby in it is just hysterical. <laughs> Part of me, you have Tommy doing the melody, and the background vocals kind of like shout singing it, not really like singing it like in tune or according to the melody, and you have maybe one or two voices doing ooh, and that's it. Like, it's very, very stripped down, but it still sounds so, like, complete. Whose team they prefer to be on. No one's big like Gaston. Like Gaston, no one's got a slow cliff in his chin like Gaston. There's a specimen, yes, I'm intimidating. I want a guy like Gaston. Gaston. Mm. Walking down the track, guy like Gaston. Down to that little C. I want a guy like Gaston. If I were right, if 12, if his yes, yes, I am the best, and the rest is all trips. That's cool, too. Okay, so Peter joined in on the lyrics as Gaston. And I don't think that was in the original. So here, let me listen to this again. So 
so Gaston is the best and the rest is uh, uh, that's the lyrics from the original but Peter joins in singing I am the best and the rest so I think uh, that's creative too adding that layer of Peter singing now I think out of all four songs that they're doing on this album Gaston is the one where the soloist would get least of the solo time because a lot of it is like background vocalists and LeFou doing most of the singing um so I think it's I think it's worth it for Peter to include a couple of more sections where he's singing just because the other three guys in their songs are naturally going to get a little bit more solo time in their own songs. So yeah, nice addition. Yes, I am the best and the rest is all trips. No one fights like Gaston, houses lights like Gaston. In no wrestling match, nobody fights like Gaston. I have no trouble believing that's Aquitani singing up there. Lights like Gaston in no wrestling match, nobody fights like Gaston. <laughs> and again, anyway, Bobby's voice acting here is hysterical. I, I like. It barely sounds like Bobby. That's just so cool. One fights like Gaston, houses lights like Gaston. In no wrestling match, nobody fights like Gaston. As you see, I've got biceps to spare. Not a bit of him scraggly or scrawny. That's right. And every last inch of me is every last inch of him. Every last inch of me is covered with hair. Somebody is down on an A1 or a G1. And that was cool too. Every last inch of me is covered with hair, splitting that up and having it echo a couple of times just to add a little bit more spice to the arrangement. As you see, I've got biceps to spare. Not a bit of him scraggly or scrawny. That's right. And every last inch of me is every last inch of him. Every last inch of me is covered with hair. That was beautiful. Okay. I did hear that right. Somebody starts on an A flat one in chest and goes down to a G one. Very sick. And then we go from that part that oh my god, he's so hot right into the to continuing the melody. So we don't really get a lot of time to react, and I think that's part of what makes it funnier. Like as a line or an inclusion in the song. Kind of like voice plays if i were a rich man when actually at the end does like that crazy riff thing and she just looks at the camera and says boy and then we go right back into the melody that's kind of the feeling i'm getting from that covered with hair oh my god it's so hot no one hits like gaston matches wits like gaston in a spitting match nobody spits like gaston i'm especially good at expectorating when I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. So that's cool. Somebody's on the 16th notes in there. So we don't have that vocal percussion, but doing stuff like that, including subtle rhythmic patterns like that, is kind of standing in place of percussion. I'm especially good at expectorating. Tui! When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. And now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs, so I'm roughly the size of... Bobby's faces, oh my gosh. I eat five dozen eggs, so I'm roughly the size of a bot. Well, that was loud. <laughs> Yeah, just D4, nice, nice, firm, operatic belt. Listen through this whole section with the eggs and stuff. We get that ch -ch 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 -ch, that kind of percussive-ish vocal pa My hair. That kind of vocal percussion-esque sound. You can hear the ritardando, the slowing down as we build up to that higher note. You can, you can hear that very evidently in that part. I think that's kind of cool. Ten points for Gaston. Ten points for Gaston. 
When I was a lad, I ate four dozen eggs every morning to help me get large. And now that I'm grown, I eat five dozen eggs, so I'm roughly the size of a bot. Well, that was loud. No one shoots like Gaston, makes those feats like Gaston, then goes tromping around here. I use antlers in all of my decorating. Say it again. Who's a man among men? And then say it once more. Who's the hero next door? Who's a super success? Don't you know? Can't you guess? Ask my fans and my five hangers on. There's this one guy in. So, question. I, I don't know. Let me listen to this again. Who's a super success? Don't you know? Can't you guess? Ask my fans and my pod hangers on. There's this one guy. So he did the same thing as before, where he kind of added his own lyrical interjection to the melody. I think that time it was a little tougher to hear. Hey, nice face. Yeah, it was a little bit tougher to pick out the lyrics he was saying because they didn't really match up quite as well. Rating. Say it again. Who's a man among men? And then say it once more. Who's the hero next door? Who's a super success? Don't you know? Can't you guess? Ask my fans and my pod hangers on. There's this one guy in town who's got a lot it down. And his name's D. And the comedic bit at the end where they're they're just holding out that's just that uh that dominant chord just waiting for them to finish speaking. It's Tommy and Bobby doing it, which I guess like they're kind of sharing the role of LeFou a little bit, or being at least the predominant background vocals singing the song under Gaston. I think it's very cool. I do think the Marwan picture frame human is cursed, but Marwan picture frame on the wall is fine. And I think overall I want to listen to the end again, but I think overall this is the most fun video of the three we've gotten so far to have watched. And his name's D A S T G A S T E. This lady on the far left. So that's a very interesting ending. They're on that C major chord. Uh, I think that's Marwan in the background doing And then the background holding that C3 drops to a C2. So we go And then we go I think that's Bobby down on those little C's on the very end. But yeah, some I guess just some painting with the words going on in that last chord. Because then Marwan goes from da, 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 da. No one is thick as Gaston So yeah, very nice I think, honestly Honestly, I do think this is the most fun video to have watched so far I just think there's like just so much crazy stuff going on Yeah, I, I don't know, it's just a lot of fun and I think Peter did an excellent job with making this arrangement his own and kind of tailoring it to himself as a performer. And I think, honestly, like this is a very commendable arrangement from Peter. I think he did a great job with his interjection to the Bass Gang album. A lot of fun. I'm probably going to watch the video a couple more times after this just to get some more shots of Bobby's silly faces that I will hopefully never do anything with. They're just funny to look at. Anyway. Yeah, I had a great time with this. Gaston by the Bass Gang, five stars. I'm excited to see Friend Like Me. It should be coming out soon. But with that, that's all I have for you guys. Thank you for watching my video. Go subscribe to the Bass Gang if you enjoy my reaction. I would love it if you subscribed here. That's all I have, so I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.